Hey, you know, Starlink, so welcome back to another vlog. Um, I'm sitting here outside and I just got done healing myself with a bunch of crystals. I even posted it on my OnlyFans. Oh, oh my god, it was such an intense experience. Um, so I'm starting this new book today and I just finished the last one. I got done reading it. It was so good. It gave such great advice and I'm just super thankful for all the information that's come through my way. So, all right. It's been a while since I actually sat under some sage, so I'm going to do that now. Light this up. I decided to store my bundles in this bag. Oh my god. I showed last time that I vlogged that I put in my ziplocs, my zippies. Alright, let's take one. Yeah, why not? Let's go big. Go big or go home, right? Close that so they maintain its freshness. Now, the stems are pretty strong with this one on both ends, so I'm, oops, sorry about the shakiness. Try not to put my elbows on the table, but I'm trying to determine which way to light it. Usually the broader stem is lit. This looks like the broader. This doesn't look right. I've never seen a stage like this. <laughs> it's different. You just can't find good quality ones nowadays, I guess, because of the shortage. But I'm just going to put it out here. This is outside, so it's not going to smell up anything too bad. Not too much wind either. So I can even show you and demonstrate how I do this practice. Every week or so. You have to light it until it's on fire completely, but not like to the point where like it stays on fire, you know what I'm saying? Like it has to smoke. It does it, it can't. But it will take a while, especially if it's like too wet. Um this one seems just about right. But I like to keep it like this. There we go. It's like when you pull it away, as long as it maintains its own flame, you got it running just right. And then it'll kind of burn itself out, just like this. So, um, you know, get what you call an abalone shot. Okay. This isn't, actually, I just found out that abalone was actually a crystal, technically. So that's pretty cool. And then you just put it here. You know, and you just get a feather. Oh, I forgot to do that, but I, I usually do this I, just with my hand, and then I wash my hands after. Uh, you should always wash your hands after energy work, but then I just go around the home in clockwise motions. Every corner, every closet, every room, everywhere. I even go out here, and then after that, I go outside and do this to myself, okay? And I just kind of swirl it around. But for the time being, I just... Um, I'm gonna leave it sitting here and uh, chit chat with you guys. It has its own stand. It looks like bacon. Huh. Uh, I would not have discovered this without Heather Feather. <laughs> She's the first one who introduced, um, I think, a lot of people to Sage, including myself. I was like, what is that? What is she doing? I want to do what she's doing. <laughs> so, I really like the practice of this. It just cleanses out negative energy and just is, is a nice thing. Um, this is actually uh, diminishing, but it does have a thick, rich, silvery green smoke coming from Sage specifically. So I, I will do a cleansing for you guys as well. Yeah, see how it's burning out? So either the sage is no good, which sucks because I bought 12, or you just need to relight it and not panic. 
And make sure you get a good camper's lighter like this one that has like a high, like a, especially in a new one that's not burned out or used up yet. But honestly, they should have made this a bit thinner. I think the thickness, every time I get a thick bundle like this, it, I'll see it always struggles to maintain its light. Sometimes you need to even go beyond the base of the sage ram. That might have done it more. But I just like to leave it sitting here and just do its thing right. Oh, you can even do it upright, see? Like, this is even better. Upright, like this, just kind of upright, right? And then you keep it there. Oh, my dog is freaking out because he hears noise probably from outside. A little bit noisy outside today, but yeah, I just wanted to take the time to thank you for joining me and for, um, see it got really smoky now. You can even use sage incense, honestly, that might work better. And uh, be at a greater advantage to you because uh, it, it will guarantee to give you that smokiness without having to worry about these bundles and they do get messy and it does tend to be difficult to um, deignite, you know, but lately I've just been breathing it in and just like I said, vibing, just enjoying it, just like breathing in, cleansing my lungs. Like I said, I just got done doing a cord cutting meditation and a crystal healing on myself and I just had like a euphoric experience. I was like, like, vibrate like literally shaking like i couldn't stop shaking and then i felt so light and so i'm just here giving you this nice energy so i might as well just show you now how i sage myself so i stand up okay i'm not an animal i don't sit i stand while i do this so let's adjust and i start by going around the head and going around the crown and like this and i keep a safe distance from my eyes i don't want this ambers to burn me it's happened before i keep a healthy amount away of my fingertips as well although it doesn't burn through that fast i still kind of be careful i point it down and away from me see that's like pointing down and away and i just go around and i keep doing this i keep doing this i go around the arms like this i say any prayer any affirmation i say thank you for cleansing the energies Maybe of any clients' past sessions that I've done, like Reiki, tarot, you know, anything that I may have sucked onto myself, anything from my clothing, anywhere I may have been, any people that I've been surrounding myself with, right? it away into the loving light of the Lord, right? And it just oh, it makes you so much lighter. Just make sure you put your clothes instantly in the wash and you take a shower after, okay? And you see I kind of just shoot it all away after. That's why you have to be outside for this. Not to bring that sucked into your home. I hope this helped and gave you guys the guidance you may have been needing or looking for. I'm just going to sit out here a bit longer and just enjoy breathing this in, just enjoy the energy of it overall. Like I said, it's uh, actually very healthy, even um, scientifically speaking, for the air. It's like an air pollution cleaner, kills away those microbes, those bacteria that cause illness in the body. So I just again just sometimes i feel it's not enough and i just do it again i think they even have these in candle form like it's just a regular old wax candle and then they sprayed like some of these in it i think there's many ways to enjoy doing this be careful of the thread as well though that can sometimes come loose and burn you so see how slow it burns this is how exactly i think this is exactly how it should be well it's hard to tell now that it's lit but 
when you smell it, you should know. It's like, and even feeling it's just like between wet and dry, something like that. Just the right amount. I keep them stored like this so that oxygen doesn't deprive them of their abilities as well, okay? And I like to go through one at a time. I don't like to keep skipping between bundles. Finish one before you go on to the next and forget about it so you're not wasteful, okay? Even anything new you may have gotten. I'm just using this as an example, you know. Cleanse the energies away from this, okay? If someone else used to use this book, cleanse the energies away from this, okay? Simple and easy. I like to put this over my hands as well, like this. I work a lot with my hands. So it's like any energies I may have absorbed or any past clients, please remove them now into the loving light of the universe. Thank you, thank you, God. All right. And then it's done. Sometimes you let it burn out on its own. Um, I'm just going to scrub this later in the shell, and this helps. It's like anti-flammable. This helps, uh, you know. Well, it's kind of burned out anyway, so I might as well. It smells really good when you do that, too. Yeah, see, that's why I don't like when there's a lot of stems, because it keeps, it's very hard to um, do that. So sometimes you need to use the ash that's there to help, um, just to get that, see that one little spot that keeps going, that's pretty stubborn. Oh, when you blow it out, that's where you discover the source, so it ended up actually being from here. <laughs> so I gotta tackle that spot. Okay. Now when you blow on it, you're gonna see an orange glow. And that'll help you discover where this... There we go, I got it just to be sure because you don't want to <laughs> burn anything down um I always do this at the end just to make sure there's nothing left that can uh, be reignited right it's like a safety check at your own risk <laughs> and then I even like scrub down the edges with my fingertips I'll wash my hands anyway even if it's ashy And honestly, I also do that to remind me to wash my hands, right? Yeah. Blow again. All done. Then you put it back in the bag. Say thank you for your efforts and time. Seal it, close it, put it away. you something like this not just a zippy but double because this stuff is powerful and it will dry up then you dispose of this in the trash all the ashes you clean up around yourself and your environment and you move about your day so thank you guys for joining me hope you enjoy it take care now bye, -bye.